What's up guys, this is the Rifle and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off happened last time, we had another hour special while I reboot my campaign away from the pain that was Northern Italy. And we've managed to walk the tightrope and actually secure Madrid and we've now got it stable from a public, um, public order standpoint. I would like to raid with my fleet outside, but the Genoans are here and they will kill my galley. So they must sit there. The Brits have decided, well they can't make up their mind if they're going to attack me or not. I've decided not to garrison Valletta because if they choose to attack it that will actually help me out. Because then Madrid would be my capital. I might actually... Can I not, why can I not recruit? Can I not recruit any naval units because I've got this? Why can I not recruit a galley in this port? How odd. Bill Bauer is developing in 90 turns. But it's because there are, there are rebels nearby. But we have got a school. And we're starting the research cycle. We've got plug bayonets. Then we're going to go canister shot. Then square. Then bayonets. We're staying away from physiocracy. And all those enlightenment technologies. Because they create relig they create public order problems which when you're currently um, suffering a negative 20 boost because of resistance to invasion or occupation or whatever you don't really want to start adding on extra problems <laughs> not until you've got a bit of a buffer anyway which I'm hoping selective investment in new tax will do I'm hoping it will allow us the breathing space to make some progress Accepting the near permanent, um, <laughs> accepting the near permanent um, occupation of our port. So much so, it's wondering if it's worth building this into a military port. But then again, if I build it into a military port, then I'm not getting any income from it anyway. So, yeah, but I'm sure about that one. Okay, so I don't know why problems keep going up. Why you're unhappy? Well, I mean, they're unhappy because I've got certain people in government. But they're all really pretty damn good at their jobs, so I'm kind of okay with it. If I take Gibraltar, Spain has a handful of territories left before they're knocked out of the game. But all I want is to take Gibraltar. And then that will give me the shipyard here, which means I can build actual ships to go and attack the Barbary States. The devils. So we haven't seen the French for a while, so I'm tempted to build this into a craft workshop to try and get more income. But right now, I'm pretty happy. Or do I... No, I think I do build that. I want to grow this army down to go take Gibraltar and knock out the pirates because that will make them much happier. But right now I'm okay with my plan. I mean it's only a matter of time before the Portuguese attack me. <laughs> oh Britain. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before Portugal attacks, but right now, every turn, public order in Madrid is getting better. We're researching. We're growing our economy. Busy things are just pretty good. <gasps> and they're not going to attack me, because the Italian state navy is sat outside my port. Beautiful. Catholic missionary in Spain. There's no no real Just send them up to Send them up to not Amsterdam. Send them to Berlin. Just wind up the Protestants in Central Europe. Okay, so let's recruit. So we can get some Marines. Let's get two Marines. Another I'll keep the keep a bit of income for now. Cause yeah, right now we've got a bit of time is our friend for now. 
might be worth recruiting. But then again, they're leaving our port alone, so I might not put any troops in there. So it doesn't change the AI's calculus. I would like to get Portugal on our side, but we're still plus seven, so they're probably going to be pretty happy. They've got a lot of tech, which we don't have because we're starting. We're at a standing start. I would have liked this to have been a observatory, but what are you going to do? We're in a pretty good position if that becomes our biggest problem. Come on, France. Peace out. My main... Oh, I could have raided with my ships again, damn it. Yeah. But I, I really... Gibraltar would be great because I could grow a navy and protect. I could then, uh, like a mother hen, um, protect Malta with an actual navy. And then eventually send armies to go take the Italian states out in... Not the Italian states. To take the Spanish territories. Yep. Blockaded twice. It's a Spanish rake, so we could see our, our general just get his head blown off. So you probably want something like that to go south and knock them out. Hey, I think he tried to kill this guy because he got a cautious trait. Yeah, right now I don't think there's much I can do differently. Oh, even if I could, I don't think I would. Grow my army. Go south. Take Gibraltar. Get a shipyard. Start recruiting some ships. See, they've done that before. They've gone west, but then they've bugged out. Well, not bugged out, but just abandoned us. Span Spanish Navy sailed out from Cadiz. Cadiz, Cadiz. One or t'other. Yeah, I think my strategy is okay. If France attacks from the north, we'll at least have an army plus research backing us to help fight them off. And we've also developed an economy to the point which is ambivalent to whether or not we've got trade in in uh, Malta or not. Yeah, he's trying to kill my priest, even though I'm not sending him near. Okay, let's... So you're very poor. You are very poor. Poor. Just poor. Okay, you can have the weaver's cottage. Because you're still recruiting troops. I'm thinking if we attack... These are Spanish rebels, so I'm wondering if we attack them, does that draw them into battle? Do we fight both of them at once? I think it's a good question. One more turn, so canister shot. There go the French. But then again, I don't know how long they've been doing that. They might just be occupying. I might actually move my priest up near Paris or somewhere up threat of me towards France so I get more of an, a, a warning if they send troops south. <laughs> the Barbary States really want to uh, beef up the blockade on my port. Oh no, just a handover. Good, that's canister shot. Actually, we're not getting much cash now because our army's now big. Let's check our ministers to make sure we've not got anyone who's fantastic. Okay, so your four, your three, count as three base becomes four because of plus one management. Five treasury, six for treasury, but you're also three becomes five for justice becomes 
six for justice, which is still not high enough. And he gets plus one to repression across theatre, which is pretty darn good. I think we hold off. Didn't divert my priest, which is annoying, but whatever. But at the very least, we are growing our army. Even if we are not growing our trade. Although Portugal, have, I think they're raiding the Barbary States, which is pretty neat. All we need to do is for them to leave our port alone for a turn. That's a bunch of cash. I'm not sure if they did or not. Probably not. Oh, they did. Sweet. So that's some more cannons. So if I move you out of Madrid, you stay somewhat happy. So let's march them down south along here, stopping here in case the Spanish decide to push north. Let's build the iron workshops. Got to keep investing in the Spanish economy. Gibraltar's not going to be worth a huge amount, but it'll be worth more than what, we've, than what we have had previously. Still forgot to move my priest, but whatever. So here come the French. Yeah, they're going to be slightly hinted more difficult to push off. I'm curious if the best thing to do is to lay siege to Gibraltar, because their pirates don't seem to want to move. Could well end up being the best thing to do. Let's see if the Barbary States attack the French. <laughs> oh, bad luck. Yeah, so that's more of a problem to push off. It's just a brig, but we can't stop them because for whatever reason we can't build anything in this port. So we do need to take... Or secure Cadiz or take Gibraltar. I want to say if I take... If I do this... Sadly, it does not draw in the rebels... So if I just do that, I may as well fight the rebels separately first. So we free up the port and we remove the negative bonuses for troops terrorising our lands. And we also increase public order in Spain. Damn, we've got cannons now. We can actually do something a bit more traditional. That's a bit of a duff position to put artillery, but whatever. Cavalry on the each flank. Come at us, guys. If you stand out there, we'll shoot the hell out of you with artillery. We cannot yet form square, which is unfortunate. Bit of a sound bug. So let's get the guns to targets the artillery no, the infantry because we do want to bombard them as much as we can so these guys are going to run straight into our battle line you guys halt fire at will. Let our cavalry do the job.
just keep the artillery pounding their main section of infantry. See, they have got... These guys are now... They're slowly getting in range of my front line. Which obviously I do not want, but... Yeah, see, so we will be taking some friendly fire out of that. Get my cavalry out of the way. Turn fire at will back on. pivot these units on the flank bring the cavalry in to the woods start blasting them with canister shot including my new Maltese Marines. Good. So let's charge my cavalry in. Charge my cavalry in to kill them. Change my artillery. Da oh, pity. Deploy my cavalry to engage this regimento de Sevilla. can make them break that'd be great if not push through and go after the Irish infantry or the Irish company Irish brigade get firewall going again Let's get my general over here to also help Get these guys to fire round shot at someone in the centre. You have to fight this regiment of force, which you should win. Because you are more, much more elite. They are retreating towards spikes, I've not ignored that. Pretty sure they should just die anyway because we've attacked a town. But it's always better safe than sorry. Well, no, let's not hold artillery fire, let's just get them all to engage the same unit. Kill the last few that are hanging around in our main block, and then let's send you guys to go take out the Regiment of the Sevilla. The Irish unit has decided to decided to flee. Well the Irish regiment has fortunately fled the right direction. Got lots of all our artillery engaging this single unit of line infantry, which will probably rout in due course. Although those artillery shots looked like they were going towards my cavalry. Absolutely continue, but hold fire. Go after the 
mercenaries. Okay, you guys come over here. Yeah, go take out this mercenary unit. Just in case they don't just in case they come back, but also get a bit of free experience. There is an enemy unit behind them, behind my unit that I was just in command of, but there's no point. Although we killed them fairly easily. But be careful actually, these guys may... There we go. Heroic victory and the destruction of the Spanish pirates, of the Spanish rebels. Although not a complete destruction, because they are now probably Impossible, going to make merry with the raiding. So let's start rebuilding. Let's cancel this building. You continue to chase them down, because the main priority is to kill the pirates, because that'll help get the resistance to foreign occupation down. Okay, everything else stay as it is. Yeah, again, I've still not. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that priest. I'm so caught up about doing everything else because things are going so much better in this episode. Ah, the Spanish aren't going to let this go without a fight. So, with our little bit of income we've got. My army to the south is going to go keep killing. It's going to kill the pirates. And then lay siege to Gibraltar. The new army I will build, or at least the new garrison, will just be a garrison. Their job won't be to sally or do anything clever. Just grind them down before the walls. Because the army, the army can't be that good. It can't be. Usually armies that kind of pop up like that are full of militia and cavalry and what they've got one unit of artillery and they just aren't a good siege army. And good, I was mildly concerned it all crashed then um, because everything just froze. <laughs> but awesome. This all seems... Uh oh. That's an invasion army, if ever I've seen one. It just means I'll, I'll add Lisbon to my route. Oh, it looks like, actually. Do I even get a garrison in the city? No. Nothing. You, my lad. Hightail it north. We're just going to auto that. Probably lost a lot more men there than we absolutely should have done. Oh no, don't say we're actually going to lose the city. Okay. Recruit what we can. But I'd like to think they shouldn't just be able to... I mean... Sure as hell looks like they're probably just a bit of walking because there's no garrison there at all. God, that'd be frustrating. Okay. Square formation next turn. I mean, if they get it, I'm absolutely going to just... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to rage. The armies come south. But it's the pirates. I mean, if they get it, I'll just resiege it because I've now got artillery and everything. We've done it before, everyone. We'll do it again. Although I'll probably have to assault it properly. Oh god, and I won't have any money. <laughs> okay, this is this is really big. This is a really big end turn because the pirates could decide to go and 
keep raiding. Or they could decide to go after the city. And I should, really, I suppose, have run some elements. But then again, I couldn't run them straight to the city. But even then, if I had an actual garrison... Yeah, if I left some troops there as a garrison, that would have worked. Damn. Damn und blast. Basically. That's the, the, the headline here. If we lose it, which we very much... If I know the AI, we will. Because the, the rebels go during the pirates' turn. We could... Well, we will have to immediately assault it. <laughs> um, oh god. Oh god. Because we, no, we get no income from Gibraltar. I'm going to have to water it. So they've been pushed south. Ah. So we are scarcely positive in our income. But I'm gonna I am gonna siege the bejesus. I'm gonna camp the hell out of this. Because these guys are coming, although that's a no, that's an army from the new from the new world coming. So obviously we've lost our research. We're about to get ring bayonet all because I didn't leave a damn garrison. But we're gonna hold out. But we've got artillery now, so I'm actually, to be honest, in terms of camping that hill, I feel a lot better because these will be really good. Oh, I shouldn't have reinforced all those units. I need to build a buffer. I may even get rid of one of these artillery units to help ease the burden somewhat. To be honest, this may end up end up, this this episode may end up being an hour special as I am not going to end this episode and not have Madrid. I'm just not. Let's do this. So we want to hill camp like an absolute beast. The army we're facing to our left is an annoying army of expats and archers. Oh no, we don't get our f we don't get our lovely hill. But I want to deploy over here. I know, so if they're attacking, so then they're coming from over there, aren't they? The reinforcements. Hmm. Let's deploy. So it may end up being best over here. Because at the very least, we are also drawing the city garrison to battle. So there's no massive concerns about, you know, we're defeating one army to only have to face another later on. We are actually going to be able to, f to uh, be pretty happy with what we've got. Yeah, the general oh, the general is a is a poor unit of artillery poor unit of cavalry we're not wait where's my actual general no oh, wait where is my unless they've killed him so my artillery is all going to open up onto their demi cannons So that's 
one unit of our, it's one one gun destroyed. Get straight down the middle at a unit of marines. Good. Enemy general's been killed. And their artillery is kaput. Let's move our regiment of horse over here. There's a bit of weird distortion going on at the edge of the map. Let's play our marines more like this. Cavalry, or well, really our cavalry needs to be on the eye out. Needs to march forward to keep an eye out for their bowman auxiliary. Which is over on the right, so. Over on the left, sorry. Canister shots. friendly cavalry coming in. So let's get you up here. Horse. You guys start to canister the battle line that's coming in. My cavalry can deal with the bowmen. You two guys also need to go for the cavalry. Bowman Auxiliary, good. Run straight on because they tried to flank us. Whoa, you guys stay back where you were. So come on, please. I need to get these. I need to get some good luck. Good to the routing, so slaughter them. Retreat out of range of the bows because they're now shooting at my cavalry. So you protect that with the left flank, this artillery engaging. Here. Good. They have. Okay. They're, yeah, now they're eager. Go get them, cavalry. Guns limbered up. So I want to pivot my line, ready to accept the attack 
of their reinforcing army. Go on, they're wavering. Please, route. Good, slaughter them. Sure, they never come back. Got my marines on the on the corner. My cavalry to eviscerate the bowmen. It's got both my units of marines out here. my cavalry attacking the bowmen because the bowmen are the most frustrating units ever to fight. Everyone else is fairly predictable. I guess my cavalry doesn't want to get out. Well, my units here don't want to get out of the way. Too bad, it means they're going to kill themselves. Speed up. There's an awful lot of units on the field. Although it looks like they're not going to come straight at us. So then we will want to take advantage of. much firepower as we can. Okay, let's speed up time again. Well, it looks like obviously our plans have changed their plans. But I think this might end up being pretty good because units that line up to engage them will also be at an angle for the for this artillery to get some really good shots off. You need to just keep engaging straight ahead of you because you can't hit those guys. Pivot you guys slightly like this, so these are, these guys get a bit of a cleaner shot. Okay, these guys are going to start to get within canister range. My objective is to keep troops routing rather than specifically do loads of damage. This is going to be cover on the flank to be ready to respond. Like this, because that's a, it's an Irish regiment that is routing, which we absolutely want to take advantage of, but it looks like this militia has caught on to what I might plan to do. you can smash cast shot to this big clump of troops up here it's 
what have we got? Militia, 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 militia. gun unfortunately isn't firing although it looks like none of them this unit that was bugged is well and truly bugged I'm going to get my general ready in position we've got no cavalry now We do want to chase down routing units, at least where we can. Especially if I'm going to have to placate Madrid again. Ugh. All that work. Getting the city under my command, I lost it because I was a tit. Okay, let's see if we can actually fix this unit now. Because it looks like they all want to... Re <laughs> not retreat. But they're falling back to uh, reform. And I believe I absolutely do want them to do that. Because then we get lots of really good kills at, at range, especially as they attacked me, remember? Okay, so the whole... this unit is... is really bugged. Unless they're deployed backwards. Yeah, that'll be it. I mean, did I really deploy them backwards? Didn't really think they'd work if I deployed them backwards. I mean, it looks like they want to... Uh out of my artillery range, which if they do, I'll just limber up and push forward again. Although handily, they're still in my artillery range. Okay, let's get some units to start attacking the unit that's actually standing still at least. See if my cavalry can provoke an attack. Well, I see if my cavalry can provoke an attack, I should say. If they want to stand here and get shot at, that's fine by me. So let's get these units focusing on specific troops. I get the impression they're going to go back, reform a line, and push up again. That's my personal suspicion. That is the case. So let's just run my cavalry back onto the flank. Oh no. Man. 
Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm probably going to cut the recording here and then I'll bring you guys back because I have no incentive to attack them. I can do casualties to them for free with my artillery at range. And they attacked me. So... Wait, did they attack me? Yeah, they must have done. I wouldn't have attacked them. Yeah. Well, because if they want to sit here and be silly fools wasting their time just getting shot out with my artillery but it looks like they are pushing up again so let's retarget the guns more than happy to drop artillery on them at range Although there is an argument to so say, do I just focus all my at range? Do I just point them all at one unit? Shoot the hell out of it. And then only really split my fire at closer range? It's an interesting idea. Especially as the, the idea is we'd hopefully get a unit, we'd get units to rout a range rather than just doing a bit of damage to all of them. Letting a bit of damage to all of them actually results in an easier line to defeat. So let's actually go back to splitting, the f splitting my fire up again, I think. So they've reorganised their range for reasons to be to be known at a later at a later date. And what have they got to show for it? Just some slightly more damaged troops than they normally would have anyway. But let's deploy our cavalry wide. Ready chase them down, although it looks like they are still deciding to slowly advance up. Okay, now, yeah, they're still walking. It's, it's my increased speed that made me think, ah, oh, they're running. Because running would be perfect. You start blasting. Because they should have some really big morale problems. Pushed, immediately retreated again. Are they going to do the same thing again? So I'm pretty sure, yeah, we got attacked by the reinforcing army. So... Yeah, if they, if they want to push back, if they want to fall back again and do what we did again, yeah, you know what? So, so because this is going to end in... Well, at speed 3, it's going to end in 6 minutes. The 11th is very unhappy, because we're doing lots of damage. This is what happens when you try and... When you try and take advantage of my stupidity. So you may as well aim for the, this unit, because misses will do lots of damage to these other guys. I could push up. It might not be a bad idea to actually do that. 
because the sooner I end it, the sooner I'll have Madrid back. But then again, they've not really got much of an army left as it is. But I think it's probably a good idea. This could be a terrible idea. So I think I'd probably term this moderate risk, high reward. And obviously it's not low risk, high reward. Because we're still going to lose men. Take the strong unit, you come back, weak unit, chase down the Irish regiment. All my artillery, keep firing at max range. Spread your guns out. The hope is this could this could produce the precipitous collapse I wanted. And it has. Kill the Irish regiment and these guys do as much damage as they can to these dudes. Gets enough of them, go chase the main block. You kill this chap and you go head off the ninth. So I am mainly focusing on the the garrison units that we know are garrison because they're tagged as being garrison troops. Come on, lads. They're going to rout. Yeah, it was pretty decisive. Um, but I'm st I still don't want to attack the city. There you go, we lost 195 men and we killed almost 3,000 of theirs. Yeah, I'm not going to end this episode till we have Madrid back. However long that will be. Because it was so dumb to leave the city without a garrison at all to chase down those pirates. It was so dumb. Especially when I had the cash and I was spending it and I lost it. I should, should have stopped. I should really have never recruited those units in the city because that was almost 2,000 gold just sat there doing nothing so we're going to have to go through the torturous process of getting the city back on our side again but we'll do it I'm not concerned that we won't do it <laughs> um, I'm just looking at my income because that's very low France is going to perpetually blockade us because no one's gonna unless the Barbary states do it no one's gonna fight them to get rid of them so it's gonna be it's a bit of a problem I'd be lying if I said it was this is fine nothing's gonna go wrong no this is <laughs> it's potentially a bit of a problem but I'm happy that our units are pretty pretty intact if anything, the slight damage we take will help reduce our replenishment burden. But, come on, the Ottomans. Now they're just breaking my game. <laughs> okay. At the very least, we've done a lot of damage to that, that um, marauding army of Spaniards that'll be roaming around the countryside. 
Go on the Barbary States. Go kill the French. Do it. A suspicious. T yeah, this they assassinated my general. We have an even thousand. I'm probably gonna just go. So we are doing some recruitment, which is good. To help you guys, it's two hundred bucks to help you guys. I spent three hundred fixing up my cavalry. Spain and Portugal are at war, which is good. They might go down and take Gibraltar, but that's okay. It'll be the same result. <laughs> At least we thank Christ we got canister shot. I still didn't move my priest, but bigger worries now. At the very least, if I can create some... Okay, they're attacking us again. Which is a sort of problem, but I wish they didn't. I really, really wish they didn't. But we need to repel them the way we repelled them previously. Which means prodigious amounts of artillery fire. So it's unfortunate we can't deploy further up so we may have to deploy over here I don't want to charge in down down onto the crest of the hill but we get trenches now because we are officially a sieging army which gets us some cover oh you are already over here gets us some cover from enemy forces. So I've still got my poor, poor cavalry, which isn't going to be in a position to chase after people. Okay, you're already deployed, so it's just these guys now. Deploy another infantry unit on the flank to provide them with a bit of cover. I've still got an artillery piece. Okay, let's put you up here. It's not a great position for long range fire, but then again, it's not really the long range we're worried about. Good. Speed up time. <laughs> Can absolutely eviscerate their artillery again. Let's probably spend some of you guys attacking their main body of men. Their bowmen were briefly, briefly unobscured. So, okay. Whew. So we're going to repel the first army. Blasting them with canister shot should hopefully do the trick. Bring the cavalry over on this flank. So we've got the archers to deal with. Okay, you go straight to artillery bombarding the far line. So start hitting the native bowman auxiliary. 
you absolutely need to try and kill them. No, stop reforming. This is why I don't like manually ordering troops around. Everyone else just hit them in range. Their artillery there is pretty useless, I think. Yep, good. Sorry I'm playing this move fast forward, but <laughs> I really want to get back into Madrid safely as quickly as possible. So the auxiliary, it's militia. Fire with canister shot. Blam! Oh, for God's sake. Let's run you guys back. Wait. Part of the reason why I'm okay with playing here at triple speed is because I know what my strategy is and you guys know what my strategy is. Hold off. Blast them with cannons. Try not to do anything stupid. Good. My, I, could, I would like to deploy my cavalry, but they've got the cavalry up on the hill, so... Actually, if I set you guys to deploy against them, you guys to shoot up against this cavalry unit. Probably send some units out to do some clever work. I've got some friendly fire there. So we managed to do some damage. To their cavalry, especially as they'll now be. Okay, bayonet charge there. Who are they going after? They're not going after the general. That's good. Chase them down. I should probably just chase down that line infantry unit, but they're probably going to rout, so... Let's just continue what I'm doing. Run them away from the militia, then attack again. To help clear up some of the some of the men that seem to be drifting around as part of a a wider posse that doesn't want to be doesn't want to be acknowledged as part of the group. So you keep attacking, you guys come up here. And you guys... Nope, they cannot be helped. They will attack the men they will attack, and that's that. I mean, they've left one alive back here, but they don't seem to care about that. I have no doubt these guys will escape, because they've spread out so far. Yep. Yeah. Still, uh, still a good ratio, good exchange ratio.
Every hour lost hastens Spain's defeat. God damn. Pardon me, Jesus. Um, oh, yeah, it's so frustrating. It's my own exuberance and the frustrating way the rebels work in this game and the fact I had no garrison at all. Even though they were happy with me, we're Catholics. You'd think there'd be some crossover, and especially as the last part was only going to be wasn't going to be an hour, and this one's going to be an hour. Well, it's more than an hour. This is going to be potentially an hour and a half. Lots of content for you guys, because I want to... It feels like if I break this break this early shenanigans, these early shenanigans up into half-hour blocks, maybe things don't happen as well. Yep, do not spend money. I have no income, and I need to keep as much of it as possible. Come on, France, we're indifferent. Just chill out. I mean, I can... Allegedly, I can try trade with people, but... The Mughal Empire... Oh, if anything, that's made my income worse. Not quite sure how. Who's France at war with? Venice, the United Provinces, Prussia, Barbary States, Knights of St. John. So I'd, I'd like Venice to come down and clear them out, but I doubt they'll let me do that. Because I really, really do not want to assault them, especially as, as our routine before the walls seems to be working. Yeah, like we've got to a point where their army outside doesn't even want to attack us anymore. So as frustrating as the Ottomans' end turns are, I think the, be the best option is, is just to keep bashing out the end turns and hope we can get uh, hope we can get them be get them beat. And think, well, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Not till things happen. I'm not even going to say it. Come on, Venice. Come kill that French army. It's preventing our trade. Not just my trade. Ours, Venice. We're buddies. So let's see. Unfortunately, now we're trading with the Mughals, you have to witness what they're doing. <laughs> but I suppose it's better than a frozen screen. Go, go, gadget, Barbary States. Oh no, not a trade route. Don't hurt our precious trade. How will we survive? <laughs> oh, two turns to survive. I'm just not going to spend money because I need... I'll need cash to rebuild the city once I've broken it. <laughs> Let's just keep ending turn. Two turns until the city falls. So this turn... Ooh, I could intercept them. They have recouped some of their troops, which is a mild concern. But then again, so have we. I think I might do it to provoke an attack to help thin out their garrison even more. I don't want to fight against those bowmen, because those bowmen are really effective against bog-standard infantry with no firing drills. Like, they can put up much more fire very quickly. Artillery is great against them, but you've only got so much. And we can sit in a very lovely defensive position. Actually, I want to probably stand off a bit so they don't get any woods to sneak up to me through. I know their tricks. Okay, 
I guess weak unit of Marines. Two strong units on the flank. Get my cavalry in. A weak regiment of horse. I don't think the reinforcements are showing up. Oh god damn it, they are. Sorry, so let's run my cavalry out. You guys fire as quickly as possible. Just charge straight in. Get my infantry. Pound the guys behind my cavalry. Halt fire, so they don't shoot down all my shoot all my cavalry down out of the saddle. and they're shattered. Oh no, general versus general. to fire to engage their their primary line that's pushing up to try kill their general canister shot blast that big blob of troops right there you guys cast a shot to break their remaining infantry Fight well back on. You guys can engage the first regiment of foot. To be honest, you can take out the first regiment of foot. Come on, if you can knock out the first, that'd be great. Good. Now you push on and go after someone else. You go after the first. Everyone else can hightail it over onto the flank. And the artillery is probably going to unlimber, then limber up, unlimber somewhere up here. Is probably the best shot. Come on, you, you kill them. You probably come over to the slightly. No, 
actually, you chase down... Yeah, you do want to continue going this way, towards the garrison. Because the forces in the field I'm not so bothered about, but routing garrison troops? Hell yes, me likey. Shouldn't be very long to get these guys packing again. To send these guys packing. We just gotta hope to Christ that our problems with public order aren't too big. Yeah, it's just those guys over right over there in the distance that are left and they will successfully rout because we're just too far away. Hessian infantry and a unit of uh, native bowmen auxiliary. So not quite as good, but we've now flipped the flipped the ratios in our favour. And we're being attacked by the garrison of the city. So let's do it. So this indicates this should be it. This should be the last battle before we retake Madrid after I was a big derm derm. Ah. And I have reason to believe they will deploy out front. Because the AI usually seems to like doing that. One unit behind us. My marines on the flank. Cavalry just hold position. Yeah, no, they have not. But have we still deployed out of range? Halt the artillery fire. Because we have deployed our mortar range, which is lovely. So I'm willing just to let them come out then. I was anticipating more of a field pitch battle. If the intention is to not do that, because I don't want to destroy the walls. Yeah, don't even bother attacking their cavalry. Ah, keep focusing on that unit if they want to route. Yeah, that's a route. Come on, you guys, abandon your mortars. You know you want to. Are they charging? No, they're not, sadly. No suicide charges of death for them. Let's keep the unit at the back plinking at their general. Because their garrison is going to break. I'm sorry, I'm scared. To be honest, if people are still watching now, then I commend you. Cavalry's dead. I'm pretty sure when these guys are routed, the guns will probably route with them. Gates are open though, so we can just charge in. If that's the desire. Oh no, they were open. So they want us, we have to expend resources to go and take the city itself. Or we blow a hole in the gates and charge our, blow a hole in, actually yeah, let's destroy the gates. Let's try to destroy the gates rather. No, actually, stick with the wall. I don't know what the I don't know what the deal is about destroying gates and repairing gates. I'm sure it's the same as the wall. 
but if I was to either break the gate or the wall, I'd rather have a hole in the wall. Hey, they're actually, they're actually in range of my cavalry. So you guys run. We're just out of range of artillery. That's probably why they were so... That's probably why they were okay with uh, not sallying out. But the question is, will they make it to the wall or will they make it to the howitzers, the mortars, before too many of them get killed? Because they are landing shots on them, much better than my cavalry. They can't hit infantry marching in the open ground, yet these guys can hit cavalry charging at full gallop. I'm going to continue just because I don't know I don't know if this is the last turn or not because if it wasn't the last turn and I let them live that'd be super annoying from memory it shouldn't be but it seems like yeah exactly so they are still kicking And I think we may charge. Well, charge. We'll attack the city. To be honest, it depends what unit they've got with that mortar, because I'm super tempted to just leave it. Because we at least gain a bit more cash to help rebuild the city. Which we'll definitely need to fix... Fix the government building, fix the Grand Theatre, you know, all that kind of stuff. Go on, Venice, go invade France. Do it. Let's do it. See, if I if I broke this up to half-hour parts, this would be three parts in the future by now, still fixing my screw-up. Whereas, why would I want that? Especially not when I'm in the mood to record, so... I would rather fix my mess um, now rather than leave it. Um, but I am. It is sorely tempting. I've got, it's just militia. Sono parcino letamayo. Yeah. Yeah, it's also that. Vinto. We lost 17. Well, we lost 200 men. That's much more than I mean, what I would like. So, yeah, similarly, we've got the problems with the public order. So plus four oppression's really good. How much is it to repair you? 300 to repair the Grand Opera House. 1100 to repair the Royal Palace. See, so they do already get... Hmm. Strictly speaking, it seems like plus four oppression is the better thing to get first. And I... Not making anything from tax, I presume, because this guy's because the main building's broken. Okay, let's get back on the research. Okie dokie. So next time I'll get square. <laughs> so now we've got. <gasps> oh no! They didn't do this last time. Oh man, well this is definitely a position where I'm going to end the episode here because oh, they didn't do that this time. Um, I'm pretty sure we can hold them off. Yeah, we'll be able to hold them off. We've got a breach in the wall as well which is super handy. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed this massive episode and I'll see you next time where I'm going to defend Madrid, this time from the Brits who ignored me last time. Cheers everyone.